Hi, this is Greg with Flying Quest Fitness. Today we're going to do a comparison of the Taurus G2C and the Taurus 856 for self-defense. Now we're going to start off with the Taurus G2C. And I'm going to do this with winter clothing on because, hey, it's winter. And, uh, you know, I could stand out here all day with just a holster and draw and draw fast and shoot. But, you know, you need to practice with how you actually live, you know, train as you live, live as you train. Now, I've got a Tagua holster. I really like this. I don't even think they make this holster anymore. And then I've got another carrier, magazine carrier right here. And it's a, a very trim package, very light package, easy to consume. So let's go ahead and start at five yards. Whoa, stop, get back, get back, get back. All right, this time we're gonna shoot the 856. Six shot, revolver. Now I've got wooden grips. I replace the uh, rubber grips because it's easier for me to get a purchase on the wood out from concealment. Same thing, very simple rig. And uh, I've got speed loaders. So let's see how we do with the Taurus 86 towards 856 and then we'll compare the two. Stop, stop, stop. All right, let's take a look here. This is where I shot from. All right, let's go to the G2C. Now, to be fair to the G2C, I have uh, not shot it since before Christmas. But I do shoot revolvers a lot, and that makes a difference. And I'm aiming for the X, okay? All right, let's move it back to 10 yards. All right, this time we'll start off with the uh, 856 and the three shots. All right, let's go with the G2C. Once again, three shots. 10 yards. All right, let's go ahead and compare the two. This is where we were shooting from, and once again, I was aiming for the X. Let's go to G2C first, right there, okay, and then let's go to 8.56. So we opened it up a little bit. All right, let's back it up, let's go to 15.
All right, let's take a look. All right, this is where we shot from. And uh, I'd be willing to bet these three were from standing and these three, and this is G2C, and these three were from kneeling. Overall, not bad. A little bit spread out. If we go over here and look, we got a little bit tighter group. Now in the shooting, I've got one eight and one eight. And here I've got two three tens or X ring, whatever that counts for. So that tends to be a little tighter group there. I put one eye out there and I put another eye out there. So you be the judge. We're gonna talk about this. Well, what do you think? We got a tighter group right here, but we scored more points here. Now me personally, normally I always go for the mid chest. But uh, just for demonstration purposes, I shot for the X. And, uh, you know, I'm a revolver guy. I feel like I can get a little more accuracy out of a revolver. But hey, listen, I'm not going to argue with the G2C either. So let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages. Very obviously, reloading is a, a plus with a semi-auto anytime. Speed loaders, even at the best of the time, you still get fumbly fingered. Unless you're Paul Harrell, <laughs> okay? All right, but uh, that's, that's the big disadvantage. Now, capacity, now that's a little bit different. Let's look at that. With uh, the 856, you have six, but with the uh, G2C, you have 12. Now, let's look at that very carefully. There was a study by Greg Elifritz back in 2005 where he documented different rounds and stopping power. And he found uh, in his st statistical analysis, and he did, he did a lot of work on this, that on the average, for whatever reason, with 38 Special, you tended to fire 1.87 rounds to stop an attack as compared to nine millimeter with 2.45 rounds to stop an attack. Now there could be a lot of reasons for that, but I look at it this way. You're talking basically 238 versus three nine millimeter to stop an attack. Now, and, and a lot can depend on what ammunition you're carrying a lot of other factors. What that does, that diminishes the importance of that capacity. In fact, uh, as far as 38, in fact, if I'm carrying nine millimeter, I would rather carry 12, 15, 17 rounds just because of that. You know, nine millimeter is a fast round, even with a hollow point, if it gets clogged up and you don't get some expansion, it's liable to go straight through that target as opposed to stopping in the target. Now one of the cons with the G2C is that it has a safety. And you know a lot of people who shoot the polymer pistols do not like safeties. You know Glock doesn't have a safety. Now this is just a personal choice. Me personally any semi-auto that I have, if it has a safety, I train myself to use that safety. And it's just a matter of building up that muscle memory. Or you could carry it with the safety off. However, once again, we're talking civilian citizen carry. You know, you might not necessarily be carrying it in the most secure holster. So I'm real big on using that safety. 
lot of people don't agree with that. They would rather be tactical where it's uh, grab and go. But if you want to go grab and go with something that's inherently safe because it has a stiff trigger, go with a revolver. Now, the last thing we're going to look at is weight. Now, this gun, and this is a Tagua, that's that Tagua holster I was talking about. Hey, this, this rides this gun very well. This gun's lighter than this gun. And this is an Azulu, Azula holster. And, you know, that weight differential makes a difference for a lot of people as far as comfort of carry. Now, I'm one of these people, I do not like being too comfortable in my concealed carry because I want to feel that firearm on me and with me at all times and be cognizant of that firearm on me and with me at all times for safety reasons. Also, if I actually need to use it, I want to be able to, to know it's there. You know, you never want to feel like that gun's not there. And once again, that's my opinion. So which one? Well, like I said before, I'm a revolver guy. However, if you're wanting to carry one of these, I think this would be a very good option. And you know, a lot of times people will say, well, you need to spend, you know, five, six hundred dollars, you know, cry now, you know, pay now, cry now kind of thing, which is you know, if you've ever been poor, it's not real practical. Now these run about the same price, around uh, 225, 250, maybe 270 or 300 for this one, depending on where you get or at. And this one I have seen for as low as 200. So if you need a budget firearm, you can't go wrong with either one of these. And they're dependable. I've shot this one a lot. And I've shot this one some, and uh, I shot its predecessor, the, the PT-111 G2, a good bit. So uh, either one would be a good choice. In the interim, stop gap, okay? Something to work with, something to defend your life with till you can save up the money to get something else. You know, Glock 19. Um, Maybe a Ruger SP-101, you know, or perhaps a Colt, you know, the Colt Cobra, if you wanted to go up on that higher end. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this comparison, and this is Greg Newton with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you, always be prepared for the unexpected.